Hey y'all, it's me. Yes, it is. Like, share, and subscribe. What's up, real deal? Hope everybody doing good. But anyway, y'all, let's get into our content. Okay, but what I need for y'all to do is to make sure you go shopping from the store and subscribe and join the channel for five dollars. Okay. Now in Memphis, if you from Memphis. Uh, in Fraser, uh, I know you are out. You are without internet access, okay? So let's see why you are out and what they're gonna do about your power. Are heavily impacted. Disconnect is an unfortunate norm in Memphis Fraser community. It is a big problem. For years, residents like Keith Martin have been struggling with broadband connectivity. Our service is very poor. None of the issues has been resolved. Luckily, we have a landline phone still, and this way we really communicate with a lot of our people. So you're forced to keep a landline phone? I ain't got no choice. And it's the same for residents at our Let's Talk 24 Town Hall in Frazier. What I don't understand is why we have these Wi-Fi outages. The Wi-Fi cell tower. Strickland also said that not only are 20% without internet access, but 80% have mediocre access. Now, we did call the city of Memphis about the problem, and they say they're looking into it. When you pay in for something and it's not working, you know what I mean? It just seemed like we're going through a whole lot since this pandemic. And y'all, y'all, you know, all I got to say is stay on top of things. You know, stay on top of everything that going on around you. Now, without internet, you have to be able to communicate. And then they need to get it straight because when them kids go back to school, you got some kids going to have to do homeschool. And they might have to do homeschool. And if they can't do homeschool, they don't have a computer and the internet work system is not working. You know what I mean? So uh, I don't know how that work either. Um but they say 20% of, of Memphis is without uh, internet, y'all. Internet uh, access. So uh, I hope they get it up and running, you know. Ain't nothing I can do or say about it. Y'all tell me what y'all think about um, this situation. I, I don't know what to say. still struggle with connectivity issues. The frustration came up at one of our recent Let's Talk 24 town hall meetings, and our Brittany Moncrief spent time in Fraser today trying to get to the bottom of the issue. Brittany, what'd you find out? Well, Richard, during our Let's Talk town hall, residents in Fraser say connectivity is still a problem. This is even after Mayor Jim Strickland announced a new plan in 2021 to close the digital divide in the city. Well, it's still open, and Fraser residents are heavily impacted. Disconnect is an unfortunate norm in Memphis Fraser community. It's a big problem. For years, residents like Keith Martin have been struggling with broadband connectivity. Our service is very poor. Twenty percent of people in Memphis are without internet access. Back in 2021, Mayor Jim Strickland efforted a plan to combat that. He put fifteen million dollars in federal money toward improving broadband across the city. However, two years later. That 20% hasn't changed. Our internet service can't hardly communicate with nobody. Cell phones don't work. <laughs> he has a problem for Martin as he's a business owner and has to leave home just to get work done. 
And, and, and you know what? And that's sad. So that means that he got to go to a store. He got to go to a restaurant. He got to sit where he can get in the internet. And, and that ain't cool. That ain't cool. Especially when you pay a lot of people paying a good amount of money a month for internet. You know what I mean? Internet services. And, and it doesn't work. I wonder what the problem is. But a lot of uh, Memphis, uh, Frazier, uh, uh, area is very upset about that. That's the same uh, area, y'all, where that young man was found. Wow. And back in 2021, Mayor Strickland also said that not only are 20% without internet access,